What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Today, we're going to be talking about Pelican Bay. I've done a lot of videos on Pelican Bay. And it's the prison that I'm asked about the most. And I've, I've done stuff. So I did one about three months ago on Pelican Bay, and I talked about the different parts of it. Today, we're going to just talk about the shoe. Like I've mentioned before, um, Pelican Bay is is was uh, a place. I, I think for a lot of people, because they don't know that it's no longer filled with all the legends, um, so they they still don't realize what's going on over there now. They they think it's still that that uh, mythical place. It seems like. Um, I can tell you one of the cold words. It doesn't matter anymore. They don't use it. Um, for that place was Teotihuacan, which meant the place of the gods. Um, so Pelican Bay, even within the, um, the prison community, held um, high regard. Um, if you went into the prison system and you um, felt you wanted to be involved in certain things, then um, going to Pelican Bay was a must. You were going to go there. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you that entering Pelican Bay shoe, when you go into that place, you see the thumbnail. That's what you see. You don't see windows. You see corridors, right? White walls. It almost feels like when you enter that place, you're going into an underground bunker. And um, when you get to your cell, it's unlike any other cell. It's, it's huge. Actually, those cells are really big, right? But the whole front end, the front of the cell is like a cheese grater. It's a steel door and a steel wall with the holes in it, perforated wall, perforated door, right? And it is probably the quietest place that you could ever enter. I mean, you know, you go into a church and a church is quiet, right? But that's usually because there's nobody in it. You would go into a Pelican Bay shoe and there's somebody in every single cell and it's still as quiet or quieter than a church, any church you've been in. Being in the cell, everything's white. Everything in your cell is painted white. The wall across from you is white. The stairwell, stairwell is brown. Um, but that place was built specifically to break men. And um, the CDC had particular people they wanted to break. Um, <clears throat> Pelican Bay Shoe was, without a doubt, the Harvard, um, the MIT, um, of criminality when you entered Pelican Bay shoe you were you were entering uh, the home of the legends you were entering a place of extreme criminality and if you were um, allowed a glimpse um, you were going to learn a whole lot you were going to learn how to perfect your criminality, how to protect, excuse me, how to uh, perfect the art of manipulation. You know, there was a saying in there they used to say, you know, that when you get out to the, anytime you're in the shoe, you understand you're doing your time. You're going to come back. Once you start going to Pelican Bay shoe, you know you're going to go back. And so every time you leave, you plant seeds. You plant seeds in the minds of people. Find out what they want to be and tell them they can be that. They just need to do a couple favors. That's how it was. And um, you had to do that because when you get slammed down, you're going to need people to assist you. And that, assist, that assistance helps you help others in that world. I could tell you that while I was in the shoe, 
it was by far the most respectful place that I had ever done time. Um, people have this weird idea that it's always on and certain, you know, with everybody at all time. No. Pelican Bay Shoe, I've already said it. If you don't go to store, everybody in that pod that goes to store would drop off a bag to you. Didn't matter what their faction was. Didn't, didn't matter what their ideologies were. Everybody looked out for everybody. You got to understand that <clears throat> when you enter the shoe, you may sit in that cell for the next 10 years. And your neighbor's going to sit in, the, in his cell however long he's there. So you, you want to have as much uh, harmony as possible when you're in that type of environment. But I'll tell you one thing. Once somebody gets on your nerves, it, 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 it doesn't let up. Because every day you're going to hear that same voice. Every day he's going to hear yours. You learn how to um, pay attention to people's patterns. You know at a certain time this cell is going to take a shit. This cell is going to start working out. And... <clears throat> What a lot of people don't realize is um, convicts to convicts and ex-convicts. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm getting sick, you guys. <coughs> Yesterday was horrible. But anyways, convicts and ex-convicts, one thing that we always pay attention to is patterns. When somebody changes anything in their pattern, something just happened. You got to figure out what it is. Pay attention. And that's like with me out here in relationships. When, when, when things are a certain way and when something happens, you know, everything happens for a reason. Nobody does anything for nothing, right? Um, I wanted to try to do this video and give you guys a, a better understanding because I know that there are uh, documentaries about um, Pelican Bay. And I, I never watch... <clears throat> prison movies or or prison documentaries because it's like i lived it like what what are they going to tell me that i don't know um but i just wanted to give you guys a, a, a an understanding man like when you walk in that bitch you really feel like you're going underground and the energy there is different you know each prison has a different energy to it you can walk on a fucking level 4 180 and you can feel you can feel the tension in the air. Pelican Bay, you don't really feel tension. It was more like, um, I, can't, I can't describe it, but you knew you were in a place where uh, you, you remember <clears throat> you got two eyes, two ears, and one mouth for a fucking reason. Shut up. Listen. Watch. Learn. You know, I saw dudes go into the shoe and uh, they get comfortable. You know, they, they, play, they play chess on the tier or something and um, they catch a little attitude with the wrong person and, you know, it blows over. And that guy gets out of the shoe two years later and gets whacked as soon as he hits the yard. It blew over, but it wasn't done. I saw dudes in there, they would, they would um, clown with certain people. And again, the clowning goes a little bit too far and ate hey, my bad on me. Yeah, don't even trip. Oh, it's all good. And you guys chill with each other every day, you know, talk on the tier, whatever. Then that dude gets whacked as soon as he hits the yard. Pelican Bay Shoe was... One of the worst experiments. I mean, to build a prison um, specifically to try to break people's minds, to drive people insane, um, that in itself is inhumane. Um, because a lot of those people were released back into society directly from the shoe. How does that, how does that benefit society at all? 
But anyways, I went on way too long. You know me, I'm usually about eight minutes. This one's already over 10. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments, man, other things that you want me to talk about. Um, and you already know if I feel comfortable with it, I will. With that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.